Hi everyone. Parents already have a demanding role to play during typical daily life, but parenting during a pandemic is something quite different. Parenting during widespread disease causes many more stressors for parents and their children alike. We here at the Newcomer Centre of Peel want to help you navigate parenting during this time. So we have prepared some short videos to help answer some hot topics. In this video, we will be exploring how to talk to your children about COVID-19. By now, that is something that most of you have already done. But with the situation changing daily, along with your child's understanding of the situation, it's important to remember some best practices. And remember that your children are picking up cues from you, so it's important to remain calm and be reassuring when talking to them. This is a time of information overload. Lots of information is coming at you and possibly your children too. We want to encourage you to continue to break down information into more simple and manageable parts for your children to process, all while doing this in an age-appropriate manner. This means simpler explanations for younger children. A simple explanation for young children about COVID-19 can be something around the lines of, there's an illness going around. It's something like a cold or flu. And so we're going to have to play at home much more than before. And when we go to get some fresh air, we need to be extra careful not to touch things. As the germs spread easily, and it takes some time before you even know that you are sick. Asking questions is a good way to find out what your children know about the situation and to also correct misinformation about what happened and is happening. You might ask a question like, do you know why we can't go to auntie's house after our walk today? Or if they're older, you can ask them more complex and open-ended questions. Next, listen to them and respond to them sensitively. Be sure to share things that are happening in the community to keep people safe and healthy. We will explore more of how to deal with a child's stress around COVID-19 in an upcoming video. Lastly, we want to encourage you to maintain communication with your children. You want them to feel safe enough to come to you with their questions. Perhaps they don't know a new term like social distancing, and you can explain that to them. And if your child asks you something you don't know, Use it as an opportunity to find it out together. And also use this to talk about other things like their bodies, friends, and school. After you've already had a good conversation about COVID-19, follow your child's lead about bringing up the topic. If your kids aren't interested in talking about it, that's okay too. We don't want to overwhelm them with information. Now we are going to outline what steps they can take to be healthy and safe. By doing this, you are helping your children feel safe and in control as they have specific things they must do. Some of these things include washing their hands, avoiding touching their faces, and again, staying at home. Have you had a family meeting with the kids and shared some fun ways that everybody can follow the rules? Yes, that includes you too, parents. Remember, they are watching you. So in so it's very important to be a good role model for them. If you are still having difficulties enforcing the rules with your children, we have some ideas to help you. With hand washing, perhaps you can make a hand washing chart and children are rewarded with a sticker every time they wash their hands. Another idea is to get them to create their own hand washing sign so they understand how many seconds they actually should be rubbing their hands together for. You could also get them to sing their favorite song, which can be selected daily. You can have them make lots of bubbles, maybe count backwards from 20. You can even draw a little X or sad face on the back of their hands before they wash their hands and ensure that it's gone by the time they finish washing their hands. You can even show them the pepper germ video or if you like, you can even recreate that same experiment. When you go outside, you can help them imagine a giant bubble around you and them. If you're taking the elevator, perhaps finding a safe way to press the buttons or connecting with family and friends from the comfort of your home via technology, FaceTime, or Skype. Have you taught them the new sneeze sleeve? It's almost like a dance move that they might know called the dab. Those were just a few ideas to help you and your family stay safe and healthy. Feel free to share your own ideas with us. 
you can connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, or even on our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and stay tuned for more updates.